Hello, my name is Austin. I am the Accessibility and Assistive Technology Coordinator for St. Mary's College. Today I'm going to be going over Otter AI and how to use it on your smartphone. The first thing you'll want to do is go to the Google Play Store or App Store and type in otter.ai and find and download and install the app. I've already installed it, so mine says open, but you're looking for Otter Voice Meeting Notes. So I'm going to click open on that and Otter will open. If you are trying to have your account made, you can have, I think it's roughly six hours of recording for free on the free account, and then we have educational accounts for students who qualify with a note-taking support accommodation, and I can help you set that part up if, if you qualify for that. But once you're in Otter, what you'll want to do is you can click on the blue button to start recording. This will begin recording the lecture. So I'm going to click that. And hypothetically, if I was in a classroom right now, you can see that everything would be recorded. I could turn the screen off and Otter would continue to record everything that I am saying. Now, something that is kind of interesting with this is that while Otter is transcribing, and I think my internet is a little bit slow, which is why you can see there's some delay with the transcription, but as Otter is transcribing right now, you have a couple options. If there was a break in the class, you could click the pause button. The pause button will pause Otter, and then when you're ready, you can click the blue mic again to resume once the break is over. You'll also notice the stop button that finishes the recording, but there's two other buttons I want to draw attention to on the right side. One is the camera button. If I click this camera button right now, what will happen is Otter will launch the cat camera app and I could take a picture of, let's say, the board or something like that. So once I have the picture I want to use, you just click use picture and that picture will come up at the bottom of the transcript, which is a really cool feature. Another feature that Otter has is if the professor says something important, like there's going to be a test tomorrow, and I think that is something important, I'm going to click the highlight button and it will highlight that previous sentence that was said. So those are some cool features you can use in the classroom with Otter AI, but in general, you can keep the screen off and Otter will continue to record and it will run a algorithm. So after you finish recording, it will continue to process the recording to improve the grammar and spelling accuracy. So I'm gonna click the stop button now and Otter will continue to process this recording and when it is ready and processed, I will go over the next step of how to use Otter. So now the note has finished processing. As you can see up here, it says note. If I wanted to title it something else, I could type a different title in. I'm gonna call it demo for right now. And then you can also see the summary of the keywords. You can see the picture that I added and it says two highlights for the two times that I highlighted throughout the project. Now what's cool too is it breaks up the different speakers and kind of shows when, when there's pauses. So it has different timestamps throughout of where I paused and it could recognize other speakers. That's something that the algorithm is able to do as well is note when there's someone else talking. Now the best part about this from a side of trying to study and form your notes of the lecture is that you can search this entire transcript. So if I search the transcript for test, I, it will find the times that I mentioned test. It says two results. And if I go down here, here's a test. And here's the other time I mentioned test. These little, uh, the, the blue that's highlighted is where I said test. So that is really cool because you can find the keyword that you're looking for just by searching it in Otter. Another nice feature in this program is the ability to actually go and make any changes. So if I spelled something wrong or changed something, I could go over into Otter and actually begin editing it right right in, in the program. So if I, if I clicked on click and let's say I didn't like click, I, I thought I said uh, call, I could make that change right into Otter and it would change that. As well, if you want to listen to Otter, you can just click the play button. Actually, I'm going to first click this little checkbox here. So that approves the change that I made. 
Again, if you want to edit, just click on that little pencil and you'll enter the edit mode. But right now, I'm just going to have it play for a second so you can hear Otter. Click that. And hypothetically, if I was in a classroom right now, you can see that everything would be recorded. I so as you can tell, it will just highlight as it's reading, which is really a nice feature. And in addition, you have a couple options here to export. So I could print this, export it, and if I click the export, I could export the audio out of Otter or I could export the text. And if I choose to export the text, I have multiple file options. I could do a PDF or a Word doc. There's a lot of different options there. So that is really great features that Otter is providing. One additional note I want to make here when you're listening to the recording, if you have a professor who's talking very fast and maybe is uh, makes it difficult to keep track of what's being said, you can click on this one X. That's actually the playback speed and you could slow it down a little bit. So if you wanted to listen a little bit slower, you could. If it was parts that aren't very you know relevant, you could click the 1.5 X or something and have it talk a little bit faster to get over that part. So I just wanted to note that, that you can adjust the playback speed. Now I'm going to go back and what I want to show you is that you can actually go and add some files into Otter. So you could add an audio file, you could add a video file. I don't have one to add right now, but the way I opened this up was I just clicked on the little cloud and it pops open. And that's how you would start adding things. So I think that's a really great feature that Otter has as well for adding documents and, and video or audio files that you want transcribed. The last thing I'm really gonna highlight here is something that is in the settings options. What you'll notice is there's a setting option here called manage vocabulary. And in manage vocabulary, what you can do is you could actually add other vocabulary or names in. So if I click this add button, I could add, for example, a medical term or something that Otter isn't recognizing right in there. So it will start to learn it. So if you had some terms in your classes that Otter was not getting, that's a great way to train Otter and teach it how to recognize those words and make the transcript more accurate. Oh, one more thing I'm gonna show you real fast is let's say you wanted to make a folder in Otter. Well, you see here folders with a little plus sign. I'm just gonna click that plus sign and I'm just gonna type this as demo again. And what we'll do is we'll move the demo file I made into the demo folder. So I created this demo folder now. I'm gonna go back to my conversations and in my conversations, you'll see there's a demo file. I'm going to click the little check mark to the demo file. I'm going to click on the three dots and click move to folder. And I'm going to move this into the demo folder. And now I'm going to click move. And now when I click on the demo folder, you will see the demo audio file that I made. So that's a great way to organize for each of your classes. You could put the dates that you've recorded and you can save each recording in the correct folder. Um, and that will save you a lot of time. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and please feel free to contact Doing Disability Services if you have any questions and thank you for watching.